Today's news! Today's news! On the hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. The word price spike may be fading. Brand new numbers show inflation has just charted its smallest annual rise since March of 2021. The Labor Department says consumer prices rose 2.9% last month from a year ago, with housing costs taking most of the blame for that increase. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. The reason why people are focusing on shelter is the shelter index accounted for 90% of the monthly increase in the CPI, 70% of the annual. Price is still rising sharply for car insurance and health care as well. Hundreds of thousands of people in Puerto Rico have no power as tropical storm Ernesto slams the island with heavy rain and wind. The system is expected to morph into a hurricane as it moves toward Bermuda. Odyssey meteorologist Craig Allen says we'll feel the effects along the East Coast. We are going to start seeing and feeling those waves from, let's say, the Southeast states up to the Mid-Atlantic states. And over the weekend, those waves and a strong risk of rip currents will be up through the Mid-Atlantic and even into the Northeast states. In the Middle East, Hamas is refusing to return to the table for ceasefire talks after the recent assassinations of two top leaders. Correspondent Ramey and Osencio is in Tel Aviv. These fire talks are still expected to take place tomorrow, even without Hamas. But a diplomat briefed on the talks also told CBS News that the militant group isn't totally shutting down future negotiations and is open to talking only after Thursday if there is some kind of breakthrough. A 24-year-old American soldier has pleaded guilty to selling sensitive information to China. Correspondent Tammy McCormick. Army Sergeant Corbain Schultz was an intelligence analyst at Fort Campbell and had top secret security clearance. He's admitted to receiving payments of at least $40,000 for documents and photographs. Some of the information was related to weapon systems, military satellites, and military tactics like countering drones. The state of Texas is suing General Motors for allegedly collecting drivers' private data and turning it over to insurance companies. According to The Hill, the car maker used onboard tools like OnStar Smart Driver to gather information. A series of spray-painted pop-up arts may have come to a close. CBS is Vicki Barker from London. Perhaps fittingly for a series of stencils depicting different animals each day, the ninth and apparently final Banksy work, this time of a gorilla, appeared on the shuttered entrance to London Zoo. Zoo administrators expressing delight and promising to preserve the work. s and Futures Update. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 58 degrees in San Leandro, California.